Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to make a YouTube 2.0 background like this one. I'm gonna minimize this and uh, we need this template here and I will leave a link in the description and these blue lines are guides and they just help us make this uh, background but uh, you won't see it in the end result. Um, I'm gonna start by going to my blend tool here and use gradient called purples and you can search for it in here and then set the shape to linear and the repeat to none and then just click uh, and drag from the top left hand corner to the right hand side bottom and then the background will look like this and you can of course use any color or gradients that you want for your background instead of the purples and now I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and call it pillar because I'm going to make the pillars now and I'm going to do that by going to my rectangle select tool and make a rectangle selection here and I want this selection to be 50 pixels wide so I'm going to go to size in my um, tool options here and fill in 50 and then press enter and then it will be 50 pixels wide and I'm going to make sure that it snaps to the guide and you can do this by when selection still has handles just move it to the guide and now I'm going to go to my tool options again in the rectangle select tool and click add to the current selection and I'm going to do the exactly same thing here at the other side and make it snap to the grid and let me, wrong. Let me see Yes, it snaps to the grid and make the size 50 again. Enter and I think, where's my guide? I'm gonna click and there my selection is. And now I'm going to fill it with uh, the color that's something in here. I've used my color picker tool, this one, to pick it out. And this color is called, uh, let me see, yes, 362D66. Click OK and I'm going to go to my bucket fill tool and fill both selections and I'll go to select none. Now go to script full layer effects bevel and emboss and if you don't have script full layer effects bevel and emboss then just watch the video that I post as a video response I will post it and uh, it's all about layer effects and it will teach you everything you need to know for this step. So in bevel and emboss, set the style to inner bevel, the depth to 11, the size to 10 and soften all the way up to 16 and the close contour to ring and tick merge with layer and click OK and this will make your pillars look round and I think they're almost done and there they are, round pillars. I will zoom in a bit so you can see. Well, you see, nice and round pillars. And I'm going to zoom out so I can uh, continue working. I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on this icon here and call this um, line. Because I'm going to make a, a line. And I'm going to do this with the pass tool. And I'm going to create a sort of a swirly line around the pillars. And you can create your swirly line. Well, whatever way you want it and I'm going to tick and then click and drag and 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 click and if you don't like these rules then you can adjust the notes that's are uh, that are the points here by clicking on a note and then just moving it and the best way to adjust the swirls is by pressing shift on your keyboard and then drag one of these handles and then you can change the curve a bit so I'm liking these a little bit like this and again press on your keyboard and on one of these handles like this and this one as well and there we go and I think I'm going to be fine with this, otherwise the tutorial will last too long. And I'm going to make a uh, another one here. And 
I may I accidentally made a note that I want to delete and for this you need to go to you need to press control and shift on your keyboard and then click on the note and press shift again to create a new path so pressing shift and then I'm gonna make a few click and drag I made a mistake sorry click and drag click and drag click and drag and click and click again and this doesn't look very good but I'm gonna pretend it does otherwise the tutorial will take too long and um, I suggest you take a little bit more time for this so uh, now we're gonna create a line by stroking the path and we can make our foreground color white I'm gonna do that like this and then on your line layer go to now make sure your line layer is selected put a stroke the path on your line layer so go to edit stroke path and stroke with a line width of 8 and click stroke and that's being stroked and now uh, we're going to create a new layer and call this inner line and again go to edit stroke path and this time stroke it with two pixels and click stroke and now on the line layer go back to your line layer and go to filters blur gaussian blur and blur it by 16 and there we go okay and now go to your inner line layer and again go to filters blur gaussian blur and blur it by let's see two or three and I think 2 is fine and click OK and now I'm going to go to my move tool so the path won't show up and I think uh, no, we're almost done, this is not the end result now create another layer by this icon here and call this fade because we're going to make these pillars fade a bit at the bottom so go to your uh, eyedropper tool this is the color picker tool and pick a color that's very close to the bottom and we're going to fade with this color and uh, go to your blend tool and make your gradient foreground to transparency and that's this one and the shape should still be on linear and repeat still be on none and then press control on your keyboard and stroke up a little bit like this and then the pillars sort of fade out while you scroll down and when your page is a bit longer than the background you created and I believe this is it and I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see the result and here you see your lines oh no this is not it I'm sorry I forgot one little step uh, go back to um, no go to your inner line layer right click on it and click merge down and now you have one layer called line and it's fine and now go to your pillar layer right click on it click alpha to selection and again go back to your line layer and now we're going to make the uh, line sort of wrap around it and I forgot about this by deleting every other line that wraps around it and I'm going to go to my eraser tool and use a circle fuzzy brush of 19 and a scale of 5 and then all you need to do is sort of erase this and because it's selected it will only erase the bits that go over the uh, pillar so I'll leave this one, erase this one and then erase this bit and erase this bit and this one goes over it and I'm going to go to the other side and erase this bit and really do take a little bit more time to make your paths because this does not look very well at all oops I've lost my eraser tool and erase the bit at the top and I think this is it so I'm gonna zoom out again so you can see and this is the final result and I hope this helps and I hope there are lots of tips in here to create your own YouTube background and um, or exactly the same I don't care uh, or with some other colors maybe and um, if you like this video then maybe you'd like to watch my other tutorials as well and subscribe and thank you for watching